Most of my time is spent sitting in front of a computer. Right. Analyzing data. Right. Cosmic microwave background readings. Okay. Radiation left over from the Big Bang. Right. C cosmology. Um, theoretical early universe cosmology. I said I don't really know, but I think it's something to do with space. And, and when we were talking about your job earlier, I was nodding along pretty much the entire time, but when we stepped through your front door, I realised I hadn't really understood a single thing you'd said. Most of my time is spent sitting in front of a computer. Right. Analyzing data. Right. Quantum cosmology. Right. Do you know much about theoretical physics? Pass. <laughs> quantum mechanics? Pass. Oh, quantum mechanics focuses on the quantum realm. Atoms, molecules. Right. On a nuclear and atomic scale, gravity is pretty much insignificant. But when it comes to general relativity, it's vital. Right. <laughs> so these two theories that are completely opposed to one another. Relativity focuses on the sun, the stars, the moon, while quantum mechanics takes on atoms, quarks, molecules, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> We've effectively asked the same question twice and come up with two completely different answers. This is really sexy, by the way. Point being... I had a really amazing time tonight and I'd really like to spend the night. With you, I, I'd really like to spend the night. But now we've got string theory. Or to be a bit more specific, specific we've got lots of different string theories. If you'd rather I didn't stay, you'd just have to say. And a byproduct of Almost every single one of these theories is almost completely by accident the possibility that we're part of a multiverse. Despite our best efforts, there are certain microscopic observations that just cannot be predicted absolutely. Now, potentially, one way of explaining this is to draw the conclusion that at any given moment, several outcomes can coexist simultaneously. This is genuinely turning me on, you do realize that. The, in the quantum multiverse, every choice, every decision you've ever and never made exists in, in, unimaginably vast ensemble of parallel universes. Everything? Everything. Everything I've done? Everything you've ever and never done. We should try to keep our voices down, my housemate. <sighs> Heather's getting married in a couple of months or so. The PE teacher? What's that? He was, um... He was a PE teacher, wasn't he? Right, no, I see. Uh, they called it a day. New books are something or other for the DVLA. Wow. I've been ordered to sort out my two left feet or else. How about you? Similar, really. Wedding. Your own or...? Oh, no, God, can you imagine? I know I'm being a, a very diligent bridesmaid. We're having some kind of Viennese, mass Viennese waltz. I'm not quite sure I understand it fully yet. So, is this your first? No, first? no, um, second. You? First, yeah. Well done on the comfortable trouser front. I, I came straight from work last week. Quite felt like a fucking furnace by the time I got home. Mary, I'm sorry. Well done on the comfortable trouser front. I came straight from work last week. Crouch felt like a, a fucking inferno by the time I got home. Roland, I'm sorry. What for? 
Well done on the comfortable trouser front. I came straight from work last week. Crouch felt like a fucking sauna by the time I got home. I have to say it because I don't feel like a fraud. Mary. Let's go for a drink. I don't really know what I'm doing here anyway. Just one drink. And if you never want to see me again, you, you never have to see me again. Mary. Why don't we go for a drink? I don't really know what I'm doing here anyway. One drink. And if you never want to see me again, you never have to see me again. Mary. One drink. And if you never want to see me again, you never have to see me again. And if you never want to see me again, you never have to see me again.